Hey, it's Heather from Thousand Islands RV Center. I'm here with Nick from Wildwood, and today we're going to talk about the FSX 260RT toy hauler. Take it away. 260RT, so that'd be a 26 foot box, and the weight on this is super, super light 45, 4,600 pounds right in there. So, again, very half ton towable. A lot of SUVs can tow this as well. The key to this product is uh, we say it's a toy hauler that he wants, um, but she'll let him buy. So I think as we go through this, Heather's going to point out a lot of things that women are loving on this, like the decor and the layout. I can't wait for you guys to see the inside of this because it is beautiful. And I can't wait to show you the garage because I can hold a ton of stuff. So let's take a look. So here we are inside and what did I tell you? Look how beautiful it is. This is the new charcoal interior colors. Um, you can see it's a beautiful kind of gray toned wood, uh, really modern. Um, above the fireplace here, we've got this nice limestone backsplash. Uh, that's where your TV is going to go. And you've got a fireplace. Um, I love this floor too. I wish I had it in my own home. Uh, Brazilian Shaw floor. Um, and no carpet in this one, No right? carpet. No carpet in any of the FSX series from Wildwood. Again, keeping it, even on a dirty lot like we're here with lots of rocks and stuff, nothing to get uh, stuck in the vents or in the carpet either. Yeah, and I see you've got the vents mounted vertically again in here. Yep, duct work always in the cabinetry and in the walls. And you're seeing, again, this is a toy hauler, so we have to make sure we get the D-rings and spots right for the cargo. Uh, this whole thing turns into a garage where the camera's at all the way up front here. It's about 14 feet, and you could get the largest side-by-side, -side, about a Razor 1000, will fit in here quite nicely. You have a full drive-on wheel well. Uh, you have a full drive-on wheel well where the, the unit can come up as far as you need to. And then all that, like you were saying outside, you know, the, the features that make this look great, the windows on this side, it's a wall. I love windows. the windows yeah. and the balances over top matching the furniture. It's just beautiful. Yeah. So here we come into the bathroom. That really separates the, the outside area from your bedroom, but you've got nice storage with the vanity and mirror there, a glass shower with extra skylight for your headroom there, and then off to the left as you come through, you'll see the toilet with a linen closet for your towels and necessities like that. Then here we come into the bedroom, queen bed, easily to walk around on both sides. You've got lots of storage there, reading lights on both sides, tons of USBs that you're seeing throughout. One of the coolest features I like on this is this bonus storage here. Not only do you have access to your pass-through, but you've got these bins here which are great to take in and out, uh, load your clothes up, and then right below that you've got a spot for your shoes. So you kind of have a home for everything. Lots of bright windows here as well. Uh, that's a great window onto your campsite. So. Our cabinetry here, it's in that same charcoal color with the uh, glass inserts, really nice. Lots of storage in here for a smaller kitchen. And then Nick, what's going on with the, uh, the cargo netting up there? Yeah, again, so cargo, this is what this is made for. These are fitted perfectly for helmets, boots, gloves, riding gear. Or if you're using this just as a patio trailer, great for extra kitchen space as well. A lot of folks will put kayaks, bicycles in the back here that can contain the helmets for that, paddles, all that sort of thing. So lots of storage space in this. All right, so this is your dinette area here. Um, and I'd love to point out how awesome this fabric is. Beautiful color. It's not going to show dirt. Really easy to clean. Nice thing about this is it does turn into a full king size bed. Yep. Um, so Nick, show us how that's done. Yep, so the table will actually sit right between these benches. The cushions lay flat and that's your king bed. The other option I'll show you is if you have uh, two adults, you can do one bunk here, another uh, bunk there. These are sized for, uh, same as a, as a bunk house, would be the size of this. And then again, if you want to put this into a cargo mode, Usually you put these up into uh, your front bedroom or in your pass-through storage area. This lays flush into the wall, just like this. You hook it closed and these legs collapse uh, completely flat. So you're really left with full storage area, again, if you're going to get something bigger in here, a couple motorcycles, uh, or just using access out to your patio. So lots of ways to do it. <laughs> Speaking of extra uh, camping space, you've got this patio on the back, which is great. It sets up uh, in about a minute. Just lay these two uh, gates up and the middle closes off but different ways to use this obviously we're out here enjoying the weather today but great spot to keep the dogs kind of contained you've got that screen there that partitions off the main living area also good for kids if you need a uh, playpen for the little ones so lots of ways to do this and just extend your your camping area all right well thanks so much Nick, for coming down and showing us about uh, this new unit here 
If you want to come have a look at this or any other Wildwood product, we're at 409 County Road 2 in Gananoque, Ontario. I'm Heather. Give me a call, text, email 613-340-0041. Thanks.